And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Saturday morning's flying weather. A lot of IFR here from uh, northern interior right on out into the Arctic Ocean. Huge area of IFR in the Bering Sea covering the Aleutians and uh, coming inland, especially across the Yukon Delta there up into eastern Norton Sound, Norton Bay Area, western Seward Peninsula, into the Kuskokwim Delta, and some IFR, Western Alaska Range, and VFR to start here for uh, Cook Inlet, Susitna Valley, areas of VFR over the east and southeast interior, solid IFR across the southeast coast. For the afternoon, we've got uh, some areas of VFR over the east side of the state, as well as down here to the south to Kodiak Island, otherwise IFR, areas of the Panhandle, and uh, eastern Arctic coast into the north slope there with uh, marginal VFR central interior out to the northern Bering Sea. Otherwise, uh, IFR now back off the coast with marginal VFR to Nunavak Island. A lot of IFR over the Bering Sea to the Aleutians and northeastward here to uh, almost to Kodiak Island. And then for Sunday morning, that does slip on up at least into southern Kodiak Island there, south and uh, Shelikoff Strait. Good IFR out over the Bering Sea, right up into the Yukon, or actually the Kuskokwim Delta. Yukon Delta mostly marginal, Kuskokwim Valley VFR. Areas of VFR in the central and southern interior with some marginal VFR thrown in and some good IFR now, northern Koyukuk Valley out across the Brooks Range to the Arctic coast and the southeast coast IFR over toward the eastern border and then down to the south. For the afternoon, just marginal VFR for the southeast coast on up to Yakutat over to Cordova with, uh, as you go north there, breaking out the VFR uh, as you get into the Copper River Basin and then the central eastern interior north of the Alaska Range, pretty much VFR. Back to marginal, Koyukuk, Kobuk Valley out across the Brooks Range in the North Slope with IFR right along or just off the eastern Wolvert Sea coast. IFR here, Western Alaska Range, Bristol Bay, Eastern Bering Sea, and a little bit of improvement over the Aleutians here. Some areas of marginal VFR breaking out, uh, but pretty much IFR for the Eastern areas. And for the passes tomorrow for Anatufa, Connecticut, up in the Brooks Range, IFR flying expected both those locations. And Lake Clark and Merrill, gradual improvement throughout the day, starting out marginal, becoming VFR. Rainy, occasionally marginal at times throughout the day. Windy, same forecast. Isabel, mostly marginal, mostly VFR from Entasta. And then Tanita should, so some, should, should show some improvement throughout the day starting out marginal becoming VFR. Same thing for Portage, marginal to VFR, and Chilkoot and White, IFR, to marginal VFR. And for the freezing levels here, about 6,000 feet here, tracking eastward right over at southern interior areas. And uh, otherwise, we've got uh, 8 to 12,000 feet down here across Bristol Bay, and then 14,000 feet up over the central Aleutian areas there. For the southeast coast, uh, anywhere from 10 to 11,000 feet or so. Icing could be some light icing here, Bristol Bay to Kodiak Island. Also uh, elevated threat of icing here, isolated moderate over the eastern interior and then some considerable moderate rime icing for the eastern Arctic coast. And uh, also here over the Northwest Bering Sea, otherwise pretty much icing free for the uh, Southern Bering and the Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula. And we've got the strongest jet stream level winds here across the southern Bering Sea back in toward the western Aleutians ahead of this next upper low here, up to 125 knots there. Otherwise, a pretty good uh, west-northwest flow at about 70 to 90 knots over southern Alaska and that blowing right into the southeast coast. <clears throat> 9,000 feet, kind of a narrow band of 35 knot winds in the uh, central interior here, otherwise light up to the north there. And westerlies not too strong into the uh, southeast coast, strongest winds out here over the uh, eastern Aleutians, the Alaska Peninsula, blowing anywhere from 55 to 75 knots. And at 3,000 feet, uh, 25 knot west winds here, and uh, west 35 to 50 knots blowing across the eastern Aleutians. Otherwise, not too bad, pretty light for the Gulf of Alaska into the Panhandle. 
and much of the remainder of interior Alaska, just with those 25 knot winds here at 3,000 feet, throwing some light to isolated moderate turbulence up in that area for the day on Saturday. Otherwise, uh, could see some uh, considerable moderate turbulence possible, especially from uh, Atka Island over toward Nikolsky, otherwise light to isolated moderate up into the Alaska Peninsula and back toward ADAC.